What is resisting law enforcement? Resisting law enforcement is not complicated. It's almost too easy to get charged with resisting law enforcement. But if a person forcibly resists, obstructs, or interferes with an officer when the officer is lawfully engaged in their duties, they can be charged with resisting law enforcement. So think about this, super easy. Officer is talking with you and he grabs your arm to put you in handcuffs and you break away just like that or you move your hand, resist. Any type of force is gonna be enough to get a person charged with resisting law enforcement. I'm not saying that's fair, but that's gonna be the, the breakdown. Did you use force? Did you move your hand? If you're getting handcuffed, did you move your elbows? Did you twist? Resisting law enforcement. The second type of resisting law enforcement is when an officer says, stop, and he's identified himself by visual or audio means or sirens, that he's a law enforcement officer and a person runs on foot. That's resisting law enforcement. Those are the misdemeanor resisting law enforcements. Now, if somebody is in a car and they're driving and they see the red and blue disco lights behind them and the person continues driving and it's clear the officer wants them to stop, that's going to be resisting law enforcement, but that's actually a felony. And then, you know, the resisting law enforcement kind of changes. It can be a more difficult felony, a more serious felony. If there's guns involved, if you're fleeing in a car and you hurt somebody. Um, but the bottom line is resisting law enforcement is very easy to charge. Um, you know, hypothetically, you know, you're getting arrested. Why are you arresting me? By switch, by moving around like that. Resisting law enforcement. Any type of force is going to be enough. Now, what's not enough? Well, if an officer says, hey, get out of your car, and a person just is very passive, doesn't move, or if an officer is grabbing someone's hands and they're putting them behind their back, and the person's not resisting, but they're not being too helpful either, it's a fine line, you can see, but someone who's being completely passive, well, that's not going to be enough to get them charged with resisting law enforcement. However, just understand this. If an officer says, hey, he was resisting, you know, he was moving his arms or he was pulling away. Even the body cam, if they have a body cam, might find it difficult to discern that. So it's generally a better idea if an officer's trying to arrest you. I'm not saying don't fight it, call me, I'll fight it for you. But don't be making it harder for them because it's gonna increase the charges. And then if you, know, you resist, why are you arresting me? And you, you shove and the officer falls over and hurts himself or gets even a small bruise, all of a sudden that's gonna be a felony and it makes things much more complicated. And so we've had cases where uh, you know, there's a good reason to suppress the arrest. There's a good reason to beat the other charges, but the officer also charged the person with resist and it made it very hard to walk away 100% clean. So don't add charges. If so you're getting arrested, I'm not saying take it, call me, I'll fight it for you. But don't be twisting or fighting with the officers. The officer tells you to stop, stop. Please don't try to outrun an officer in a a vehicle that's automatically a felony and god forbid you hurt somebody things get increasingly difficult at that point if you have any questions about resisting law enforcement or any crimes give me a call I'll talk to you all day my number is 317-632-3642 and remember always plead the fifth